this is Dan Rhodes, and as you can tell, I'm not in my office today. Sheila and I have taken a few days off just to be able to enjoy life together. But I still wanted to take the opportunity to speak with you about how busy people can find time to study God's Word. You know, pastors are busy just like you are. We find ourselves involved in so many uh, details of the church, uh, administrative meetings and counseling and, and um, planning church projects that um, we don't find the time that we need uh, to get into His Word. So I wanted to share with you some things, perhaps four keys by which you as a busy person can find time to study God's Word. First of all, you've got to make it a priority. You know, you're driving along and your gas tank is on E. You're going to find a priority uh, in your life to um, locate a gas station real quick. Well, you know, your human spirit is more important than your car. And if you don't refill your spirit on a regular basis, you'll run out of power with God just when you need it the most. Jesus said in Matthew 4.4 4, that man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Secondly, you got to slow down. Disengage uh, your mind from the fast lane of life. You know, you got to shut down your cell phones, your uh, emails, your Facebooks, and, and you find out that uh, anything that takes you away from God and His Word really is idolatry. And then third of all, you have to find the right time of day, you know, either morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever the best time that you're alert. For me, early in the morning with a cup of coffee and uh, God's Word really brings me into His presence. And then finally, you got to be realistic. There's no way that you can read the whole Bible in one afternoon. So just take one passage in the morning, think about it all day long, and then uh, find just at least an hour or two on the weekends to study that passage more clearly. And so it's important for you to realize that whether you are in uh, corporate America or if you're um, in, in church work like uh, pastors are, you don't get so busy that uh, you leave God and His Word out of your life. According to Scripture, it says without faith you can't please God, and also it says that faith comes by hearing, hearing the Word of God. So next time we're going to be talking about how you start to do a Bible study for yourself. Thank you for joining with me. May the Lord richly bless you and keep you on course as you follow His Word. There's a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. The Word is a lamp unto my feet and a light